Welcome to Virtual Ice Skating Coach. In this video series about skating disciplines, Sandy Lyons heads to John Lindell Ice Arena to interview Marcia Little to learn about Theater on Ice and what Motown Theater on Ice has to offer. And what is Theater on Ice? Theater on Ice is a culmination of every discipline. We're taking everything, putting it together in a program, both short and long. We can have a range of skaters from just past one test and dance all the way up to your senior level skaters. They can be combined on one team or divided by level. So what are the age ranges? The age range, there is no range. If you have a USFS test, you can skate with us. We had our first person register, 75 years old. We will take anybody who wants to skate. Excellent. So do you take people only from this rink or from other rinks as well? No, we're happy to take anybody with a USFS membership, whether that's through a club or an individual membership. What type of practices do you have? Are they weekly or are they just in season? And what is the season? So our practices that we're planning for what I'm referring to as our mini season because nationals for this year has again been pushed until 2022. So our season this year will be 11 weeks and culminate at a competition in Brighton, Michigan. We will be doing rehearsals and practices once a week. They're going to be Thursday evenings. We're going to have about an hour on ice and about an hour off ice to get both programs ready for one exhibition and one competition for this season. Moving forward, the national championships for theater and ice is generally held the last week in June. And so every program is a little bit different on when they start their season and start practicing. We're going to be looking at forming teams at the back end of 2021 and starting those practices for competitive teams in January 2022. But prior to that, we will be offering theater and ice classes for every skater of all level, no tests required. And that will start in September. Excellent. Why don't we talk about your background a little bit? Canadian born and raised, uh, obviously skated up there, skated on tour with Disney on ice for about five years, and I have been somehow on the ice teaching, doing choreography, directing, running shows, programs. I, I've, I've done it all. I've been doing that since 1997 when I got off tour. I've been in Chicago, Detroit, down south. I've been very blessed to have access to a lot of top name skaters in great places. You're back at the Royal Oak Arena and that's where your practices will be. Yes, so currently this is where we plan to hold all our practices. The rink and the management have been very accommodating, trying to build an additional program here inside the John Lindell Ice Arena. Now they had a program years ago, but it was slightly different, correct? I believe the program they had was just performance based and not competition based, where we are looking to do both. Primary would be competition based, would be a competitive theater and ice program. But as I mentioned, for some of those little ones, we would do some performance based programs to help acclimate them into the program. Now I know a lot of the little ones will want to know about this next one. Do you have costumes? We have costumes. We love costumes because the competitive teams have two programs. We have a short and a long, the short called the choreographic exercise. Those costumes are a little boring. Uh, they're all black. Everyone has to match. Uh, the girls have to be in like black leggings or black pants, very simple makeup, very simple hair. Uh, now the free skate, that's fair game for whatever we might see our imagination doing and uh, props too. Oh, props, that sounds like fun. So do you have any regulations on props? Is there a maximum size? There is. We, if we do full scenery in the back, there is some limitations on what we are allowed to put uh, out on the ice. In addition to the larger competitions, we're provided space mm -hmm. to store those props. So everything has to fit within certain regulations. In addition to only getting a specific time period to set those props up on the ice. So as much as we want to be elaborate and do all these things, at the end of the day, it is a skating program and we want to highlight quality skating and the props and the costumes enhance that. So talk to me about the fees. What kind of fees are pretty standard with Theater on Ice? 
So this season, again, we're the mini season. Uh, our 11 week seasons are going to be $460, broken up to two payments of $230. That will include everything. The only thing that will not include is your transportation to the competition in Brighton and your USFS membership. Other than that, entrance to competitions, ice time, coaching fees, music, costume, short and long, all of it is all included in that price. Now, do you encourage kids to take lessons outside of theater and ice? Of course. This is not to build individual skating. These is for individual skaters to build their skills. But the coaches that will be on the ice will not be working directly with a skater to build their individual skills. We're building a team. Interesting. And how long has Theater and Ice been around? It's fairly new in the constructs of skating. It developed in Europe. It started as Ballet on Ice is really where it started. And the United States has been competing internationally, uh, I would say in about 10 years now. There's a competition every two years that rotates around and the United States has hosted it. And so it's, it's starting to build. It's a great environment for skaters that are recreational or competitive. It enables a team and that's something outside Synchro we really don't see a whole lot of. Do you have a lot of crossover skaters from Synchro? We've seen a lot, definitely. The teams that do tend to progress the best have a variety of skaters. Uh, the top teams in the country, their senior level teams, have been known to have skaters that are all national, Olympic, world skaters on it. So this is for everyone. We've seen Olympic skaters compete at nationals in theater on ice, all the way down to somebody that just has pre-pre moves. Interesting, okay. And um, what type of skates do you recommend? Is it a special type of skate? Like I know synchro skaters are usually have a special type of blade. Correct. We aren't looking at that because again, we're encompassing all the disciplines. When you come into our program, that is part of it. You're going to get dance, pairs, singles, synchro. The idea is that we're learning a little bit of everything. So there isn't a specific uh, type of skate or blade that we recommend other than being of quality that fits well and that are maintained well. I see. And what about a practice uniform? Practice uniform, we want everybody to be comfortable. Obviously during COVID, masks will be required. Uh, we will be providing masks once we get our registration numbers that have our logo on them because you know, that's fun. Um, past that, we want everybody comfortable on the ice. Uh, unless we're doing tricks or spins or something that we require something specific, which we would let you know in advance. So one more time, what's the name of it? Motown Ice Theater. Check out MotownIceTheater.com to learn more about Motown Ice Theater and Theater on Ice. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to drop a like on this video and be sure to like and subscribe to our channel.